we go. Edgar's here to give us your word. Isn't that great? Thanks for tuning in. It's actually now what would be that Saturday. This is a sermon teaser. This yeah, is yeah. an intro. That's a study intro. Something on to, your to, heart to that you want to share. Yeah. So hello to the mini branches. You know, if you're watching it right now. Yeah, like we did the series on Romans and I thought I was done with Romans. And You're now, done with Romans? No, I'm back into it. You're back in Romans! Like, and I, <laughs> I, I, I want to read from Romans chapter 4, beginning at verse 18. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed, and so became the father of many nations, just as it has been said about him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. So, in, in, uh, that's, that's all the verses I'm going to read. Yeah. But this is talking about Abraham in glowing terms, and saying Abraham had this amazing faith, God credited his faith to him as righteousness, you know, because Abraham trusted God so much, you know, God was so pleased, he declared him righteous and white with him, and he became the model and the father of us all because, you know, our faith makes us right with God as well. And, you know, he was saying he didn't waver for unbelief, he was 100 years old, Sarah's womb was dead, but Abraham, you know, he believed and... Was no, it really like not that? Not weakening it. And we know the original story. Exactly. Was it like that? No, it wasn't like that. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, like he was an amazing individual that walked with God, but it wasn't like that. So there's none of this wavering with, oh, you know. It's... No, no. So, no, no, so no. he's 75 years old. Yep. God calls him. And God calls him, get out of your nation, get out of your country, leave your family and go into the land that I promise you. You know, he, he manages only a short distance. He does go, but he takes his dad with him, yeah. so he didn't leave his family. I think they just went across a river or something. Oh yeah, like that. Wasn't something like that. And, yeah. and he, that, that he only moved on once his dad died. Yeah. And then he still had a nephew with him, and so so that wasn't even that wasn't perfect. But you know, God promised him he would be the father of many nations, and then he didn't have a child. Sarah was barren, and so yeah, got to help God along a bit. Yeah, got to help God along a bit. <laughs> so he basically. <laughs> He picked one of his favorite servants and said, he's going to be my heir. So he didn't really think, you know, a child would happen. And then, okay, God said, no, it's not going to be him. You're going to be the father of many nations. And he believed God. He believed God. He really did. And God was really pleased. But then, you know, it was years and years and years, 10 years, 20 years. And, you know, his wife gave up on it and she persuaded him. To father a child with her slave girl. Mm. So Ishmael was born. Yeah, and yeah, you know, yeah. they thought it's going to be him. And then finally God comes and says, okay, no, you, you get a, a child of your own. And Abraham laughs. Yeah. Laughs. Yeah. To himself, like not into God's, but to himself. Like, I'm so old now. Sarah is so old. It's not going to happen. Like, and God just bless Ishmael. But like, laughing in unbelief and then then you have here against all hope abraham believed he didn't waver no matter what happened he didn't waver and like you ask yourself what's going on here isn't god's perspective wonderful because you know you what was it verse 18 uh, 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 onwards uh, uh, romans 4 yeah 18 onwards because um romans 4 verse 1 starts us off with what then shall we say that Abraham our father has found according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does scripture actually say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. Yes. You know, in other words, again, it's like, and what, what does scripture actually have to say? Or what is God's, God's view on the whole thing? Yeah. But then it goes to something like um, Hebrews. What is it? Hebrews 11. Yeah, where yeah. it talks about all of the yeah, heroes. Yeah, yeah. Like, all know, the all heroes of, in the faith. And they're all in glowing terms. Yes. So God's way of seeing us actually, you know, it's like a mountaintop experience. Yeah. The valleys, you don't see them. Yeah. When I was up in the Alps and I love, I mean, one day we'll get back there. I just love climbing around the Alps and stuff. Yeah. Because when you're on top of one of the mountains 
and you look over and you see all of the high mountains, right? Yeah, and you're yeah. just like, you know, one after the other. You don't see the valleys. Yeah, you don't you just see, see the, the mountain tops. Yeah. Maybe God sees us like that. Yeah. So he just sees the highlights. Yeah. So I, I come to the same conclusion. So what's written there, because Paul wrote that, you know, the Apostle Paul, and he wasn't stupid. He, he knows the original story. In the, yeah. And he, know, he knows the, the moments of weakness, the years of weakness. He knows all of that. But he also knows God's heart towards Abraham and how God saw Abraham. And he looked at Abraham's life story, the ups and downs, and he rejoiced in the winds. It's just like, you know, a father looking at his child and saying, wow, you're amazing. You did really well. Yeah. And, and, you know, he yeah, rejoices in the winds. And, and you know it. what? God has such a different perspective from us yeah. because we are always self-condemning. We yeah. think we are the worst and yeah. we, we, we are so aware of our, all of our flaws. And then we're so aware of the flaws of everyone else and we point yeah. them out. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. all these Get that things. Get critical yeah, spirit yeah, going. Like all a, these th yeah, things well, if that I'm are in wrong. Pain, then it's yeah, like, you know, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be a major one on pointing and, and, and out like, to you. But yeah. God is not looking at us like no. that. He, no. he says, you got such faith. And like, you know, God... Didn't you remember the years when I was just discouraged and depressed? No, you were strong in your faith and you were wonderful. And, uh, you know, <laughs> that's just the teaser for the study. But the, really the encouragement is, um, if you find yourself right now in a place where you actually don't trust God that much or, you know, your unbelief or you, you just like, maybe you're even laughing at the latest prophecy, whatever, um, just come back to God. He's not going to hold that against you. You can just have a fresh beginning and you can have your faith renewed. When God is going to tell your story one day in heaven, it's not going to be mentioned. It's just going to mention, oh, I had a son and a daughter and he walked with me. Yeah. And I'm delighted in that. Yeah. And remember the winds. Yeah. God remembers the winds. Rem mm -hmm. Recall the winds. Yeah. Return and like, the winds. like without God, Abraham would have never made it. Yeah. Like he was 99 years old. Yeah. You know, he, he laughed at it. But... God has a way of, you know, overcoming our unbelief and making his promises come true. He, he carries us all the way. And, you know, the little bit we give him, it's just like, he thinks it's amazing. Yeah, that's the God we have. Yeah, that's, 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 the, God, the, that's the God we have. And to realize that when we draw near to him, when we pray, <clears throat> he's not there trying just to whack us down. He's trying to encourage us and call us back to faith. He just loves us. Oh, Amen. I'm going to look forward to that sermon. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Hey, yeah, be encouraged. Uh, happy discussion, fruitful discussion. May the Word of God feed you and you have a wonderful God. Study guide below and have a great time. Okay. Bye. Bye for now.